Okay guys, it's time to go ahead and do the maiden flight on a free wing 90mm EDF F16 available from Motion RC. What I've done is I've gone into the manual and I've checked to make sure that all the uh, flight controls on the airplane are set up according to the recommendations for the throws. All around for the low rates I went with uh, between I think it was 16 and 18 millimeters. And uh, for the high rates, I think it was right around 25, 26 millimeters. It's all laid out in the manual, and I did that exactly using uh, the digital caliper that I talked about earlier. Also, I went ahead and put in 60% uh, Expo. That's just my own personal pre uh, preference, and I did that on all the surfaces except for the rudder. Also made sure that the center of gravity was set up exactly according to the recommendation in the manual. It ends up being right about here and that's between 118 and 128 millimeters aft of the leading edge of the wing right here where it meets the fuselage at the root area. I did that by moving the battery a little bit aft in the tray and uh, it turns out that the strap for the battery ends up in about the first, I would say probably uh, third of the battery as it sits in the airplane. But it's all very secure. I've got the non-slip mat uh, that I recommended in there underneath the battery and everything's uh, set up great and solid. I'm really looking forward to flying this airplane. So I think with that, there's really not much else to tell you about. It's time to go ahead and get out to the field and get started. We'll see you there. Okay, we're going. I haven't set a timer yet, Don. Two minutes. Taking off, right to the left. Yeah, yeah, that's really tough to see on here. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're at a minute, Chris. All right, thanks. Landing right to left. Speed up. Alright guys, did the maiden flight on the F-16, uh, really good airplane, I'm really pleased with it, it's uh, 
it, it wasn't in my opinion underpowered at all. I took it easy on the LiPo for the first flight. Really ran it pretty much at around uh, probably 60% power. Opened it up once on a low uh, speed pass, but uh, other than that, uh, let me get the uh, image flipped around here on the cell phone and uh, we'll take a look at the airplane together. So, <clears throat> really there was only one problem that I encountered and that was on the landing rollout. Uh, I noticed I didn't have any uh, nose wheel steering. And what happened there was a little post on the plastic clevis that attaches the uh, nose wheel steering servo to the gear uh, popped off there. No big deal, I'll replace that. I'll probably replace it with a better one. And just looking inside the airplane here, take the top off. You can see the uh, anti-slip uh, matting that I've put in there over the, over the uh, plywood uh, battery tray to keep that battery from moving back and forth underneath the strap. That actually works pretty good there. I used double-sided mounting tape to do that. Didn't have any problems at all with the uh, integrated uh, uh, printed circuit uh, board uh, from the factory. A couple of the lights were reversed. I went ahead and switched those around. It was no problem. Got the uh, receiver installed up here in the nose. This is about where my battery ends up. Uh, that's pretty much perfect on the recommended CG, right between 118 and 128 millimeters. And I just made a little red line right down here in the tray to uh, remind me exactly where I need to put that. That worked out really good. The airplane pops off on a rotation. It's not a smooth rotation at all. Uh, you give it a little bit of back pressure once you get a good long uh, takeoff roll and it'll pop right into the air for you. So you gotta be prepared for that. Uh, as far as landing, good high uh, angle approach. Uh, almost at idle throttle right before touchdown and just put a little bit in and it'll come on pretty smooth for you. Didn't have any trouble with that. Really, the airplane flies well, despite all the reports of uh, it being underpowered. That wasn't my experience. I didn't have any problem balancing the CG, and I really enjoyed the flight. So, thanks for watching.